um, knuckleheads, what I was talking about in the intro, you got four knuckleheads. We all came up together. Um, I, I got there in 2000 and they got there in 2001, but we partied together, man. We had some good times and memories. So that's why I really wanted to bring this together. Um, so yes, like Slates, uh, Slates was saying, he brought this movie together. He hounded the um, president to make sure that he can shoot this film on his alma mater's campus. Then he brought these brothers in. He brought people that he he kicked it with in college to make this masterpiece. So DJ, first question for you, man: How was it uh, going back to going back to the AUG and you know just just being being back at the AUG, but in a different capacity? Like you, you bring it. I was ready to go back, um, and the fact that the building that we used, it was actually my um, room from when I was in college. When I that first semester, I only stayed in, stayed there one semester. Yep. So it was Baker. I think it was uh, right right under the stairs, man. I, I we was them people under the stairs. That's where all the basketball stuff. <laughs> and, and DJ, um, so I, I've watched the movie three times and I've been talking to a lot of other people about the movie, just trying to promote it and make sure people um, see it. A lot of people say that your character is the breakout character. Um, I was watching it, me and my husband on the couch watching it. I purposely didn't say I knew who the people were and the players in this movie. And I, I have to say, brother, and, and I want you to tell the audience a little bit about the character. But I, I have to say, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. That shit was funny to me. And I'm probably going to watch it. Yes, sir. This. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role in the movie. Well, the role in the movie was uh, Demetrius. Um, and I have to give, you know, kudos to the writer, too. So, you know, he made, he made that person. And I also, you know, he gave me free range to add my little touch at the end of my uh, line. So that's what I did. <clears throat> um, but the character, you know, we were twins, fraternal twins, and kind of gave me the idea of Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. He had all the looks. <laughs> and I didn't have shit, but, you know, Biggie Smalls look. You know, fat, black, and ugly, however. <laughs> however. <laughs> um, so, I took it around with it. I mean, I like the way, you know, he had everything, all the looks, and I had, you know, what I had. I was blessed with what I was blessed with. But, um, and the fact that we're brothers, look nothing alike, but he ain't let nobody talk to me bad. Only mm -hmm. he could do that. That was dope. That was like real brother stuff. I know that's right. And then you guys, I know you guys are close in real life. Slate, talk a little bit about uh, how you went about selecting DJ uh, to play your twin brother.